morning guys I had a very very rough night I ended yesterday's vlog or I never ended yesterday's vlog I never closed it out because I ended up with a terrible migraine last night that lasted most of the night um, I was up and down all night long still lingering I still have a headache not nearly as bad as it was last night so ugh, not feeling great this morning really really tired but I have to take Austin to the bus stop. I'm going in my pajamas. I'm wearing my pajama pants and this shirt that I wore yesterday, which I'm going to burn once I take it off because I was looking at yesterday's vlog footage. And it makes me look about 100 pounds heavier than I really am. So <laughs> there's that. But I'm going to take Austin to the school bus, get him off to school, and then I'm coming home. I have to work on some sticker orders to stay on top of everything and then I'm crawling back into bed because I feel rough. I know I look rough too. Blah. Alright you guys, so it's about 11 o'clock now. I spent the morning working on a few orders that I was able to complete with the paper that I have here. Um, the paper that I am missing is my removable matte paper, so I do have glossy paper, so I have been able to complete some glossy orders. It's just the removable matte orders that are going to be delayed. I sent um, messages this morning to those that I know for sure are probably going to have a delay. I'm hoping everyone's going to be really understanding. I know how frustrating it is to order something and to expect it in a certain amount of time and then to have it be delayed, but I reached out... Um, before they're even scheduled to be shipped. They're not scheduled to actually be shipped until tomorrow. So I'm hoping that people will be really understanding. I've done everything that I can do on my end. Now I just have to wait for the paper to get here. It's my fault. Um, I just didn't order the paper in time. So it's completely my fault. Um, typically when I order my paper, it arrives like the next day or the day after. I forgot to anticipate the fact that things are going to take a little bit longer around the holidays. So it's entirely my fault. You know, it's no, um, there's no one to blame but myself. Um, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it at this point except just wait and hope that the paper gets here in a timely fashion and that people aren't too disappointed. Um, I've never had this sort of thing happen before. There has only ever been one, mm, excuse me, one occurrence where I sent out an order late and that was, um, Austin was in the hospital, so that was definitely circumstances beyond my control. So I don't know, you know, I'll, all I can do is put this in my little memory bank and remind myself next time to make sure I order paper with um, more time to spare around this time of year. Um, um, I'm just hoping people will be really understanding. But now that I have taken care of everything that I can take care of work-wise, I think I'm going to go ahead and crawl back into bed. Like I told you guys earlier, that migraine last night kept me up most of the night so I'm exhausted and the kind of stress of dealing with the Etsy shop stuff has brought the headache back so um, it's not nearly as bad as it was last night it's just mild but I'm gonna go get some more sleep and hopefully wake up with a much happier demeanor okay so I slept for about an hour feeling better um, I think I just needed to like decompress and relax a little bit sleep a little bit longer. I'm feeling a lot better now. So I'm brewing up a cup of coffee and I'm going to work on some laundry because I have a pile of laundry here waiting for me. There's always a pile of laundry here waiting for me. That's just how it is in my life. Um, I'm going to catch up on watching some YouTube videos. Then I'm going to take a shower and kind of make myself a little bit more presentable. I don't really have anywhere to be today with the exception of I have to pick up Robbie after school. He um, is going to a training session for soccer so he needs to be picked up after that. Other than that I don't have any plans to be anywhere so I don't need to get like super fancy um, with makeup or hair or anything. Not that I ever really do these days but um you know, a shower would be good, so I'm gonna do that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on the agenda today. I'm gonna make some venison spaghetti for dinner, which sounds so good. Although, something tells me we are going to be completely venisoned out here shortly. We took, um, well, my husband took the, um, deer that he got 
to the processor last night and I'm interested to see exactly um, how much meat we get but something tells me it's going to be quite a bit so we're going to be eating a lot of venison so if you guys have venison recipes you'd like to share with me I'd appreciate it um because I, th I think that we're going to be incorporating quite a bit of venison into our diet over the next few months. But my coffee's done. I'm going to go add some cream, sit down and watch some YouTube, and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So whose Vlogmas videos are you guys watching? I know Vlogmas hasn't really started for a lot of people just yet, but I am all about constantly trying to find new YouTubers to watch. Uh, the only person I'm really watching consistently right now in terms of Vlogmas is Happily a Housewife, but um, I was watching the Muffin Chat last night, and I know that Motivated Muffins, um, Cherie and Celia, who just started her own channel, which is super exciting, um, are both planning on doing Vlogmas, which is awesome. I still watch all kinds of weight loss and Weight Watchers videos, you guys, just because I'm not currently on the weight loss train. I need to jump back on the weight loss train and that's probably something that is going to happen the first of the year. Um, but I still watch what I ate on Weight Watchers videos on a pretty consistent basis. Um, so I'm excited to watch their um, Vlogmas videos. But I want to hear from you guys. Who do you guys watch? Um, I am subscribed to so many people. I know that Marnie from Ms. Gold Girl said she was going to be doing Vlogmas videos. Of course, she is Jewish, so she celebrates Hanukkah. I don't really understand why she's calling her series Vlogmas, but I'm excited to see her daily vlogs, regardless of what they're called. Um, but yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys. So, whose videos are you watching? Who should I be subscribed to? Um, I know that... Who else is doing Vlogmas that I was watching? Oh, um, Walking for Life. I've been watching her um, Vlogmas videos and really enjoying them. I actually found her channel through my channel. She was one of the people who commented on one of my videos and told me that she had a channel and I checked it out. I've been loving her videos. So if any of you guys make YouTube videos and you'd like me to check them out, let me know. I'd love to do that. I'm always looking for new people to watch on YouTube because let's face it, watching videos on YouTube is much more fun than being responsible and doing things like laundry and dishes. Hey guys, so I'm here at the school now waiting on Robbie to come out from his training. They meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays now for, um, they just do training, running, you know, um, push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is. Um, this is the first one that Robbie's been able to attend, um, so I'm interested to hear all about it, but he's out there on the track running right now. Not that you can see him, but he's out there, and um, they're due to finish up in about five minutes, so I'm just sitting here waiting on him. So I'm just making up a big pot of venison spaghetti. I've got my meat sauce here all done. I'm just waiting on my pasta water to boil so that I can cook up the pasta. Um, this smells so good. It's just a basic jarred sauce, but I added up um, a bunch of Italian seasonings, and we're going to top it with some Parmesan cheese, so it's going to be really delicious. Um, I picked up Robbie. That practice that he was at, that training was supposed to end at 3.30, and they didn't finish till almost 4.30, so I was sitting out there for a while, but um, it gave me a chance to sit and answer some of your guys' comments. I am loving reading all of the comments on Vlogmas, you guys. Thank you so much. Please, please don't ever stop commenting because it just makes my day. Even if all you're saying is nice video or hi or thanks for sharing or whatever. I just love getting comments from you guys, so thank you. But I'm going to finish this up. Eric's on his way home. The boys are both here, obviously. Um, so we'll have a nice little family dinner. And then we got a um, little train that we purchased off of Amazon. Sorry, I'm not pointing the camera at my face. I'm looking a hot mess right now. So you guys just get to look at my meat sauce here. Um, we bought a little train from Amazon to go around our Christmas tree. So we're going to assemble that and see how that works out. So I'm going to finish up my pasta here and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so my pasta is ready. Eric will be walking in the door any second. I've got Brussels sprouts steaming in the microwave. So we are good to go for dinner. 
So we picked up this train on Amazon over the weekend to hopefully go around our Christmas tree. I don't know how big it's going to be or if it's going to work out or not, but it says it's got real smoke, real sound, and real lights, and it's really beautiful, so I'm excited to try it. Um, it was on sale for 30 bucks, so we got a really good deal on it. Hopefully it'll work out for us, and you can um, do the track in an oval or a circle, so hopefully it'll work. I'm excited to try it. Okay, well it's a perfect fit. Now we just have to put batteries in the thing and see if it works. It's really pretty. Cute little train. I think that the price um, since we purchased it has gone up to like $45, so we definitely got a really great deal on it. Get footage of the cat watching. So the train works and it's beautiful and it's annoying. I have a feeling we're gonna turn the sound off, but it's beautiful and I love it. Me too. I don't wait, I don't want to smell. Yeah, it, it uses really mineral really oil bad. to smoke and it it doesn't smell very nice, but it sure is beautiful. Okay guys, well I am headed off to bed here now, but I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye!